Hi everyone, I'm Dave, that's Steve, uh, and this is Bad Badgers. You can see the quality on production here is second to none. As we continue trying to, with all these technical difficulties, trying to uh, open up this giant box of minis. Now we've got to uh, the good bit. This is the good bit. This is Dragonlance. If you're a fan of Dragonlance, uh, the new book, newish book came out at the end of last year. We have some really nice bits and pieces. We have oh, Draconians. We have Draconians. We have a warband, another warband, and we have an even another warband. We've got three <laughs> warbands. Um, what would you, the audience, live on Twitch, what would you like to see first? I'm going to bring these around on camera so you can see them. The, the immediate uh, response was uh, bring out the dragons. So I think that's uh, a vote for the draconians. Uh, we got, we got, definitely got a bigger box. It's a much. Look at this. Okay, that is what we're talking about. Right. Okay. You, you move quicker <laughs> than I do. <laughs> so this is the box. Um, you can see there. I'll make it easier for Steve. There we go. Boom. Okay, you get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven minis. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. But you get seven draconians. Now, we have a Dragonlance game coming up on our channel very, very soon at the end of the month, end of March, 2023. Um, so tune into that if you would like to do that. We also have guest player spots. But I love draconians. Um, look at these. We have the Ulrak. And I'm watching the artwork in the back, which is also from uh, the cover, but we have the Ulrak Draconian, we have the Baz, a Bozak, we have the Sivak, and the Kapak. But look at this. You can see the size differences now though, look. Yeah. These are totally and utterly gorgeous. So while I rip these apart, I'm assuming Audience, this is what you're talking about. This is what you want to see. Steve's not sharing any comments at all, so I don't. Know. Hey, <laughs> I don't know the, what you're the, saying. Co the comment was, um, "Bring out the dragons." So it's a, it's a vote for dragon. Or there was roll a dice, but I don't have a dice. Two roll. And here we have. This is a dragon army warband, and this is a Calaman military warband. So these are the good guys, Calaman, city of Calaman. These are the bad guys, dragon army. Okay, not just dr draconians. But this, while I'm opening this, um, Steve, what are the prices? Uh, so, the draconian warband, the dragon army warband, and the Calaman military warband all retail for $44.99 each, or £38.04, from uh, WizKids online shop, shop.wizkids.com. Uh, there's the link on the screen. Uh, or or you can buy them in the UK. I have done a quick Google and I've found from Whalem Games, the Draconian Warband miniatures are currently on order for 40 pounds and 28 pence. Uh, but their pre-allocation has sold out. But they are the only one I had time to Google. Uh, I haven't shopped around, but that's a, an indication of what they might go for. I've also found a Draconian Warband for thirty-two ninety-five from uh, Magic Madhouse. So yeah, there are there are places in the UK you can get these from. Cool, thank you very much, Steve. Right, let's take a close look then. Let's. I mean, these are awesome. We've got we've got two of these, two of those, and one of one going across them there. But I'm going. You've, uh, you've, you've got you've got somebody talking to you in chat. So we'll put that up on the screen. Hey Steve, can you let Dave know I'm excited about D&D tomorrow? So I'm guessing that's one of your Arsenal Dell players. It is. I've just realised it's stuck at the back. That's why I couldn't pull it out. Um, yeah, Nilov. Hi Nilov. Uh, yeah, he's in my uh, one of my players from Icewind Dell game. I'm going to need scissors. Um, so, so Nilov can so, tell yeah. us all about the uh, Intellect Devourer's uh, Feast. He should be able to. Oh, sorry about that noise. He should be able to, but this is uh, this is kind of oh look at this. So I, I 
right, we've got we've got two Dragonlance games coming. We've got one online, we've got one in person. If you want to see the photos of these, um, I know we're doing like a quick unboxing now, quick and dirty one. Um, I'll put photos up on our Instagram. So do go and check that out as well. Um, and as Nidolf said, yes, we've got an in-person Icewind Dale game. I often take photos and I'll put those up on our Instagram channel. Uh, Steve, I think you've got the uh, the web link there. Yeah. And again, look at the armor on this one. This is the, this is the Sivak, isn't it? Yes, it is. That is awesome. So what are what are the different um, designations? Um, so the different names, and I've lost my sheet. There it is. Hit the back of the box. We have the Auric, the Baz, the Bozak, the Sivak, and the Kapak. Now, the way I believe it is the uh, the Bozak and the Baz are the lowest. Right. Um, the Sivak is obviously the highest. And the Auric is the magic user, and the Kapak. Uh, Kapak tends to be like really vile and mean and evil, but they're all evil. These are not Dragonborn. These are Draconians. And these are uh, native to, not native, uh, they were created on, in the world of Kryn, which is part of Dragonlance Saga, if you read the books, and they are basically corrupted uh, chrome dragon eggs. So the evil dragons stole the chromatic eggs from the good dragons and corrupted them. And then we have, then when they hatched, they became draconians. Thank you very and much. And they work for the Queen. So, and we have two of these guys. Whoops. Is it the same pose? Yep. Yeah. So they're, they're the lowest level, like you were saying. The One of the lowest, yeah. These are really, really nice. That cloak for a pre-painted mini is really, really good. You can see a yeah. lot of texture on there. Really nice. Really, it's just well done minis. Again, you can have these in any adventure. You don't, what you know, if you, especially if you do homebrew, you just throw these at your players. Well, you they could, look. You, you could if you wanted to use it as a um, player character mini as well, couldn't you? If you did want to use it yeah. as a Dragonborn. You could definitely use it as a Dragonborn. It, it do, definitely does not stop you. I mean, you can see the size. Obviously, this is large. Um, there's your normal one. So let's have a look at that. Here's your Aurak. Here's your magic user. He's He could be Dragonborn. I mean, look at him. Yeah. Awesome. Look at that cloak. It's a bit like the cloak on the um, Mind Flare in the, in the Frameworks range. Yes. Right. Here's the, uh, the, the Bozak. So we've got two of these. Nice, nice armor detail on it. As it moves around, love the trident. It's got this podgy belly look. Yeah, that's, that's a good feature. And then, so we've got two of those. Lovely sets. Yeah. Really, really nice. And again, um, you can get these booster booster bricks, which I'll show you in a sec. But look at the look at the pose. And this oops, this pose was pretty much directly from the artwork. In one of the uh, first scenes, you see these. So Steve is actually going to be. I'm trying not to do too many spoilers. Steve is actually going to be a player in the upcoming Dragonlance game. Um, so I'm trying not to not to spoil too much. But uh, one of the first times you see Draconians, this is the guy you're going to meet in that kind of pose as well. Ah, very Assassin's Creed style pose, there, isn't it? Yeah, he's great. I mean, look look at that. He's got that dagger. That's that's fantastic so coming from Hagley the detail looks good for pre-painted yes yes it does um, we were saying that earlier that the pre-painted stuff now so so much more uh, detail and quality in the paint jobs than there used to be yeah so that's that's the dra draconian warband absolutely gorgeous absolutely I'm, I'm gonna really enjoy I mean it's generally a few months later uh, maybe four, maybe six months, when the unpainted versions of these come out, they are going to be superb. Yeah, but, I, I, yeah. I would, I would buy the bars and I think the Civic 
uh, yeah. that set if I was painting them. It is superb, it really is. So really, really impressed with those whiskers. Thank you very much. Uh, let's have a look at the warbands. What would people like to see? Let's have a look. We've got a Dragon Army warband and we've got a Calaman military warband. Or... Is he good guys or the bad guys? We can see good guys or bad guys. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll open them. We'll open them. You can see it on the uh, back there. The comment is Dragon Army, please. Dragon Army. Right, here we go. Calaman. Right. Dragon Army. Right, so what's that one? Oh, oh, oh. Dragon, Dragon Army warband. Dragon Army Warband. This is the we got a Soldier One, Soldier Two, <laughs> Soldier Three. Uh, it sounds more like what I do with uh, my uh, yes. enemy trackers. <laughs> soldier One, Soldier Two, Soldier Three. Uh, Knight One, Knight Two, and Officer. But yeah, okay. I I like that. So if you wanted uh, this set. Magic Madhouse are selling this for thirty two ninety five. Also, what price are WizKids doing it directly? Uh, so WizKids Direct uh, was forty four ninety nine or thirty eight pound each. So you get it for Magic Madhouse thirty two ninety five. Save yourself. Uh, what's that? Five pounds and some pennies. Cool. All right. Here we go. Let's have a look at these. So let's get rid of that. That's just rubbish. I had a big box, now I've got a big box of rubbish. Let's take these out. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. A great pose, great shield. That is a great shield. Look at that. Got the armor. Nice bit of colour on there. It's, yeah. it's a bit muted on screen, but I'm looking at it here, and that is a it's a lovely dark dark blue. It's this the shield on that one. I think is the it's the best part. That's really it's really good thick as well. It is. If you feeling if you was feeling brave, shield. you could you could um, draw a little symbol on it, couldn't you? It's got enough surface area we could get quite a, quite a nice um, like miniature dragon. Or, or a badger paw or something oh yeah now you're talking we can definitely do that i wonder if you could get you know do you remember um transfers like Air yeah airfix models you have to do them with water as well yeah you yeah put them on. that'd be nice yeah Look let's see if we can buy some of them <laughs> to shapes and symbols again another one same shield I like the pose. Oh, studded, bit of studded armor there. I, li I like oh, the nice. fact they've all got the, the same theme, which kind of makes sense. But uniform. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it to be honest. When you open the box, I like so that. These one. ones, are, these ones are the knights. That's, that's a great pose with Warhammer. Yeah, I mean he's got, he's got, he's got a giant metal skull belt buckle there, belt buckle cod piece. Yeah. He's got the uh, the one piece mask there, chainmail cloak. Yeah, yeah, groovy. Here's the second knight. Might be knight number one. There you go. Again, great pose, great axe. Great axe. I do like the shape. A bit, a little bit wobbly, but that will survive. Great shoulder pads. <laughs> it's got his pauldrons look. And, and that's, I think you can you can see the difference now in the pre-painted as well because previously I think you wouldn't have seen the different neck cloth colour and that's yeah. that's what makes it look stand out because you've got the, the cloth around the head and then you've got the mask rather than it just being all the same piece of armour all the way through. Yeah, it's just it's just neater. Yeah. It's a very nice paint and then here is the officer shouting commands. Who are you? Stop that. <laughs> Chainmail, shoulder pads, like it. Again, same colour, same same outfit. Really, really nice. Okay, so those are the those are the bad guys. Let's check out the good guys. Um, these are the soldiers of Calaman. 
Calaman military warband, it says. And um, Steve, you said the prices are all the same. So the Draconians, even though they're bigger and the box is physically bigger, they're the same price as yeah. the good guys and bad guys. The goodies and baddies. Yeah, uh, and again, the Calaman military warband on uh, Magic Madhouse is, is 32 95 Cool. So just seeing something here straight away, we've got soldiers, we've got knights and the officer. So again, exactly the same. But we mentioned something on their shield. Yeah. And they're all carrying shields. So I'm assuming they will all have, and they do, have the same symbol, because they're all wearing the same uniform. And it, again, this is a great piece of artwork. This is in the book. If you pick up Dragon Arts book, fantastic piece of, uh, the soldiers of Calaman going out, marching out to war. Uh, so Dragonborn Industry says these look like they would be good NPC and PC minis. Uh, yeah, they, they would, I agree. That's, that's something we've never done in the game, actually, is, is played a, uh, like a military unit. No, that's one of the things that kind of intrigued me about this particular story. Um, I'm a big fan of Dragonlance, the originals. Um, yeah. Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman, the story, the trilogy. Then there was the Time of the Twins trilogy. There's been there's been other stories since. Um, and then recently, they started the new trilogy. Um, but we can't. We'll, we'll talk about that another time. Here's our officer. Come out. Yeah. Nice, uh, nice color scheme. Yeah, it's a uh, silver and blue. I love that. That that's a really nice one. This one's a bit bent. I'm assuming that is a spear or a javelin. I don't think it's a halberd, but you can see the sword. You see the definitely see the color difference. Yeah. And as we turn it around, let's see what's on the shield. Oh, really nice. Really nice. A good level of detail. Yeah. Really well done. Let's try this one. Here we got a knight. Is this the knight? Yep. Must be with that amount of armor. There's a shield again. See if you line all these up. Again, if you've got a couple of packs of these. Uh, not something I recommend with that amount of money, but if you can afford it, go for it. And paint them all the same. Yeah, especially if you're going to run um, sort of the skirmish rules, uh, which I believe in the Dragon Lance game. Uh, that, well, you you get the uh, there's another box set for that. Right. There is like a board game if you want to do that. I never I never got the uh, is it Heroes of Crin or something? I never got that one. I just got a book and went with that, and that was enough. That was enough. Again, I love the fact that all the shields are lined up. Oh, he's got a wonky sword. Yeah. But never. Never knight knight. shining armor. So if, all... if I'm being honest, if I was choosing between the two, I'd go for the bad guys. Yes. I think they just slightly. I, I like I like the shield and the good guys. Um, looks really good. I think the uh, the poses and the, and the colour schemes on the bad guys are just that little bit yeah. better. I, I agree, but bad guys always look better, so. <laughs> they get all the good gear, they get all the good uh, weapons and poses. Right, so there we go. Those are goodies and baddies and a draconian warbands. Once again, Steve, what are the prices? The prices are... Uh, Forty-four ninety-nine dollars uh, from shop.wizkids.com in the United States. So if you buy direct from them, you will be paying around about thirty-eight pounds and four pence for each pack. Each pack is the same, uh, although in Draconian Warband you do get seven minis, and uh, one of them is a large pack. I have found. Uh, just to go back to the screen. I have found from Magic Madhouse. In the UK, the same packs for thirty-two ninety-five, and they do have them available for pre-order. Um, so that's Magic Madhouse. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, ripping. So, that's it. I don't you just, just... <laughs> I, 
I can hear it a little bit. The cl- clattering and banging. <laughs> so, <laughs> next, next up, um, I'm going to give everyone a choice again. For those of you watching live, fantastic. Thank you. Great, great to have you. Keep the questions, keep the comments coming. We're going to try and do this as quick as we can. If you're watching this, sorry, if you've joined us live on Twitch and you haven't yet checked out our YouTube channel, there it is. There. Go check it out. Um, please do like and subscribe. We're trying to hit the next bit, which is 900. Um, but if you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't yet clicked like and to subscribe, do that as well. Thank you very much. Everything is appreciated. Now, I mentioned booster boxes. These are the booster boxes. Now, these in the UK, on their own, tend to be about 15 pounds, between 15 and 20 pounds. And it depends on but I've bought these in conventions, I've bought these in uh, hobby stores. Um, they're always hit and miss. And the thing is, it's, it's a bit like bleeding football cards, though, isn't it? You get sucked in. Yeah, they it, there used to be a trick with these. So um, you'd always pick, you'd always buy the heavy one. But if you don't, if you don't um, pick them up, you never know which ones they are. And then the shops themselves are left with the ones which are which are light. So I've got how many have you sent me? So Wizkids again, thank you to Wizkids for sending these over. This is just for us to kind of um, make silly videos and show off some stuff. Now, in the States, you can also buy a brick. Now, we can buy these in the UK. You buy a brick. I was going to hold it up. There you go. These are oh, oh, there you go. six of these. Okay, you get six of these. This is this is the booster pack deck. Um, you get six of these. Plus, you get this. This is the super booster. Now, in the Super Booster, you get two huge minis. So in these, you get four. Uh, you get four regular minis and one large, I believe. Four collectible miniatures inside. So you might not, you might just get regular ones, I think. Regular ones in there, four regulars, and then you get the huge ones in these. And then there's more. Um, the set is absolutely incredible. Um, you, the audience, those watching live, would you like to see me open the super duper booster box or one of these? And I will pick the heavy one, which I think is that one. You have to wait a few seconds for. This, uh, this is the heavy one. That's the heavy one, right? Okay. Right. You can, you uh, can move me around. We've got one vote for, for little, one vote for super duper. Yeah. Uh, and a save the booster till last. So I think that's two votes. Uh, no, two votes each now. <laughs> two votes Here each. So it's uh Go on then, Steve, you decide. I, I want to save the big one till last. You want to save this one till last? Yes. I okay. open that one. Right. We'll open another one. We're just gonna we won't rush into these. They they are um they're random boxes. I'll show you all the outsides so you can see. But um Unless you really want to see me open them, open all of them to see what's inside. But they are, they're all going to be different from this particular range. So, expand your collection with Dragon Arts Super Boosters, each containing two huge sized creatures. Now, this is just an advert for the other box. But look, you get a young black dragon and a rider. You get an Ankylox. Ooh. Well, in here, there are 49 miniatures. These are just some of the options you could possibly find in this box. So there's another Draconian Baz. There's a Skeletal Knight Rider, which I think I bought one of them recently, but unpainted. Yeah. A Quenesti Elf. And a Dragon Army Dragon Army Soldier. Now again, that's in the Warband. So you might find you can stack up your Warbands by doing it this way as well. Oh, that's brilliant. We have the Dragon Army Ogre. Um, again, one of the early characters you see. Uh, in the game, we've got Captain Husk, or Husk, who's also a Draconian. We have a random Akenda, his Hupak, which is the weapon of choice. And we've got Becklin, who is the Knight of Salomnia. Uh, for those of you, spoilers, no spoilers, um, she is a knight, she's a resident knight in um, the village of Vogler, which is near the beginning of the story. So there we go. And the front of them, again, gorgeous Draconian artwork. 
Dungeon Dragons, Icons of the Realms, Dragonlance, Shadow of the Dragon Queen, pre-painted plastic miniatures. So there's, there's 49 minutes in total in the range, um, and WizKids normally have a large mini, like a well, mega mini, uh, don't they, with these um, releases. Do, what is so, the big one in this pack, do you know? Okay, so in, in these boxes, I don't think there is one. Right. You've got the Super Boosters, which will have the two, and that has... Um, I'll, sh I'll show you the outside because it's, it's got might give some stuff away. Okay. But separate to those, you can also buy Consoldi Dragon Eyes uh, or Dragon Eye, Fire Eye, riding a dragon, and you can also buy Lord Soth riding a dragon. Right. So they are some pretty serious miniatures, or very very large miniatures. Completely missing this one, look. While you're doing that, yeah. if yeah. I put up the uh, prices, uh, so the, the so the booster brick, which you were saying is the six packets, and the super yes. booster box, yep, is at one hundred and sixty-nine dollars and ninety-three cents. Correct. Or one hundred and forty-three pounds and sixty-eight pence. If you get it from uh, from Whiskids, shop uh, yep. I'll see if I can find that cheaper in the UK or not. Um, okay, so from opening up the box, it looks like you do get the large mini. So I've got three regular size minis and one large. Um, I know exactly what this is, which is I, I wasn't expecting to see that as a mini. It is a I'm gonna say it's a it's not a catapult, it is the gnome flinger that they call it. Um, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> that is probably an item you can actually put on the map for it, your yeah. players to. Have you got, have you got dritzed with you by any chance? No. All right. You'll have, have to wait till you open one of these smaller ones and see if it fits inside. Right, I'll open one of these ones, but yeah, uh, all the back behind me has been tidied up. Right. So, because no of the, more, the no more scale stuff. references. There we go. We've got another, another soldier. Yeah, another the bad same guy. Same poses before. There's our dragon, dragon army person. He is. Oh, he looks good. Who is this? That is a bard of choice. That is. That is an Ancelon human A. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. Um, that, that's a really that's good part. Really, that yeah, I, I yeah. love I love the leather leather fur line the coat. This would be great for for a bard who's in Icewind Dale. Yeah. <laughs> this this would be uh, great. Okay. Right, that's that's a nice mini. That's actually a very good mini. Yeah, I like that one. This one. Oh wow. Yeah. One card, Larry says it's sheepskin coat. It is a sheepskin coat, yeah. And he probably try and see a, a used car as well. Yeah. There you go. Again, this is one of the NPC characters. It's great to see. I'm not going to kind of give any names away because we're going to be playing this at the end of the month. So do join us for that. <laughs> no, you'll 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 find out. But it's great. Uh, it's great that they do minis for the NPCs. Yeah. It's not just monsters um, or random Ancelon humans, but it's great you do have actually have a mini, specific mini, based on the exact artwork for those characters. Now, do you want to see me go through all of these or just the big ones? That's what they're, they're actually really, really nice. I'm tempted to go through and open them, but. Do you want to do one? Let's do one more and then go to the Super Duper Booster. <laughs> Uh, let's see if there's another. Let's just pick one at random. There we go. Right, there's me gnome flinger. Let's get rid of that. I am interested to see what's in the super duper. Again, if you have comments, questions, shout them out. Oh, oh so the, the booster brick from one. Magic Madhouse is 
um, 134.99. So, in the first one, it had one of these because it had an, a large mini, which has got some weight in it. The one I just opened, which was super light, didn't have that at all. So it was regular sized minis. So the the trick for finding out which one is uh, got something bigger in it is, is true. Go with the weight. Go with the weight. If you want something hefty, that's another great pose mini. Really nicely painted. I love that. Like, like the half cloak on that. And that is the Anselon Human B. There we go. I have uh, a bit of a, bit of a, a pirate style on that one. And a B. Yep. There we go. Uh, they're not named. So they're not named NPCs from the story. They are just... Ooh, who is this? Oh, we have a white wizard. Nice pose again. That's a really nice one. That is a white robed mage of high sorcery. I love the de again the little detail on it. Even just the whole thing is painted white, but there's a little bit of a, uh, I guess, drush, uh, dry brushing on there just to pick yeah. out the detail. That's nice. Yeah, there is a there's a lot of detail in there for for a mini that is just one color. Yep. Uh, so thanks to Dragonborn, there was a link there on was on the screen. Uh, we can go and see the full range uh, at minisgallery.com. Do you know what? I thought that was another mimic then. I thought it was another mimic. It's a dragon egg in a chest, isn't it? It is. And it just, it's just named Dragon Egg. Actually, that's something we've we've not talked about before, and I've just noticed it because that uh, miniature's black and covers quite a lot of the base. They put the numbers on there, don't they? Yes. Which so is, if you wanted uh, the whole skip. set... You've got, um, it says off 49 for the whole set. There you go, Dragon Egg. Dubai these mystery boxes though, again at £15 a pop, it's, it's potluck, it really is. Yeah. Um, here is a Kenda. Um, the hoop pack is a little bit bendy. But Kenda's kind of replaced the halfling. For those of you familiar with halfling, Kenda's are taller than halflings. They look like teenagers. They put their hair into top knots, as you can see. And their weapon of choice is a hoop pack, which is a, a stick, quarter staff, with a sling. There you go. I'm, I'm not a fan of that particular color choice. Um, Reminds me of Robin. Yeah. Batman and Robin. Yeah. Right. So, you want the Super Duper or you want more? Super Duper. Super Duper. Right. Let's go. Boom. Now. <laughs> Look at this. Right. Here it is. The Super Duper. Uh, where are we there you go. Super Duper box. I can surround. Blah, 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 blah. You. There are 49 miniatures. Now, there are. There's a Beher. 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 I've already got one of them. A Treant Noble. I mean, look at that mini. I really like that one. <laughs> that looks amazing. So I would not be sorry if I got a tree. There is a young black dragon. And you can't quite make out this photo on there. Um, it's not the light. I mean, I can't really make out that shape either. It's very black and blurry. But we have a young black dragon and a rider. And then we have the ankle ox. Then you've just got an advert of the regular boosters as we've yeah. just been opening. Now on this side, you have a lesser death dragon. Okay. Ooh. And over here, yeah. you have the boiler drag. That, that, I want to see, so what I want in that box is, is the boiler drag. Yeah. So I'd, I'd like to see that one. Right, let's move these out of the way. I love, I love the, um, I love the size of this box. This is a good box to want to open. I don't think you can buy these on their own. These you okay. have to buy it as part of the brick. Um, but talk to your local game hobby store person. If you're a regular customer and you buy this stuff, 
they might just let you have it. Ooh, look at this. So we've got Icons of the Realm, Dragonlance. Very nicely packaged. I've got something with wings. <laughs> and it's green, so I don't think it's it's any of the ones that are on the box. No. I think I think it's a blue dragon and a green dragon. And a green dragon, dragon. yeah. Which, it being Dragonlance, dragons... Uh, uh, well, well packaged. Very well packaged. Uh, there's a wing. That is not flimsy. So I've got two... There you go. Two wings. You see the joints there. Now, I wonder if they're going to have the same pose, which won't matter, but for someone who loves Dungeons and Dragons and Pathfinder, I'm very short on dragons, mainly because I find I find a dragon, I love to fight dragons, but as a GM, I find dragons very difficult, unless I'm doing a Sean Connery dragon. And then inside... I, I don't enjoy running them as a GM. They're probably my least favourite monster to run. Yes. It's just too much. More, more, yeah, too it's much. More, more fun with a group of goblins sometimes. Alright, sorry about the noise, everyone. There's more tape. Right, while you're right. doing that, I'll just... Uh, I'll just yeah. Costs back up on the screen. So the booster brick, uh, booster brick, you get six of the small boxes and um, the super duper box, which you're opening now, four hundred sixty nine dollars and ninety three cents, uh, or one hundred forty three pound sixty eight from uh, shop.whiskey.com. Uh, but Magic Madhouse do have that set for one hundred thirty four ninety nine on pre order at the moment. So I'll go back to to Dave. Assembling a blue dragon, um, so they are in different poses, aren't they? It looks like one's on a on a flight stick, and the other one is is on the deck. Yeah, we've definitely got a couple of different poses. We have, um, I mean, look at that. That 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 is uh, a completely different dragon type than we've seen before. The the, the rhino horn. Um, is really good. So in Dragonlance, they are a lot more featured than what we've seen in Forgotten Realms. Right. Um, I love the got the ankles on there. Look. Yeah. A little bit of jewelry. But yeah, you got the rhino horn, um, and I'll come back to that. Let's try out the this one. Let's try and get this in place if I can. Is it pushing together fairly easily? Uh, the blue one did. Have I got it in the right one? Not sure. No. I think you, it. you did have it on the right side. Yeah. This one's de this one is definitely the same. It's got two two slots, but it is. That will hold it for now. But look at that. That spine, that ridge. Yeah. A lot more lizard like. And then the, one of the nice things about the Dragonlance book, there's artwork in the back, like the sketches and things, and they have a breakdown of the differences in the dragons. Ah, oh, cool. Look at that. Really nicely detailed. These are amazing. So, not to put you off a little bit, Steve, I said you'd be facing dragons. <laughs> No, then we've got yeah. two at least. So this one, uh, this one does say just a young green dragon. Right. But this one, and anyone familiar with the new Dragon Arts book, this is uh, Belefian. I think that's how you pronounce it. So this is a named dragon. Okay. Uh, is that a crown behind the horn as well? That he's wearing. Uh, kind of, yes. So oh, yeah. if you can see this, <laughs> yeah, it's a different coloured spokes. 
on, yes. a, on a wheel. This yeah. is the symbol of Tachesis. Te- 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 <laughs> which are different. Each each uh, claw represents obviously a different, different dragon. Yeah. And then Tachesis te- te- being um, Tiamat, yeah. basically. I uh, I like that one. I think the, the blue one just edges it. There's a lot of detail on there. Yeah, that's blown away by that one. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's more, Steve. <laughs> more in the big box. There, there is more. Would you like to see what's? There's more dragon lance, Steve. Would you like to see? Yes. Let's let's see some more dragon lance. Let me remove that and put us back uh, that way where you get it out. Right. Here we go. This one, this one is big, right? So I say, I say big. It's bigger. There we go. That is this one. So this is again. We're staying with the dragon lance. This is Shogun, uh, shadow of the dragon queen. This put it under here. Swap them around, Steve. Yeah. This is Ken. Here we go. Kensaldi on a red dragon. Oh wow. So this is Kensaldi, Kensaldi Fire Eyes, or Fire Eye, which is her. She is, uh, spoilers, no spoilers, she's one of the baddies in uh, Dragon Arts. But this is riding a red dragon. And I, I love the fact detail that, on that the dragon is wearing armor. Just, you know, a normal dragon wasn't hard enough to kill. They put armor on it. It's a lovely box. It's not a windowed box. Um, so in the contents are, this is a young red dragon. Uh, you get a young, uh, sorry, a red dragon saddle with consoldi legs. So you, okay. you can, you, she can sit on the dragon. You get a consoldi torso, so she can stand on her own. Look at that pose. Oh. So you get the standing legs. And you get the red dragon back, so you can have to have an armored red dragon to chase your players around the table. Now this is the other one. Um, I have not got this. This is the Lord Soth on a Greater Death Dragon. So you can't really see it there, but that is Lord Soth riding a Death Dragon, and a Death Dragon. Is exactly like it sounds. Um, <laughs> it's gonna give you nightmares. It's gonna be hell for your players. But let's have a look. Right. So where you're getting that out, I'll I'll stick the price up. Uh, so you can sell the Red Dragon um, yeah. from shop.wizkid.com. Put link up again. There you go. Uh, is eighty nine ninety nine dollars or seventy six pounds and nine pence and I'll Google uh, in a second with a magic mail house of it and um, what their price is. There you go, on Red Dragon and that is sixty five ninety five from Magic Madhouse. Again on pre order. We have some wings. You know, extremely well packaged. I'm just looking at this dragon going, oh my god. In this terms of scale, is is that about the same size as a as a green dragon or the blue dragon that you opened from the other box? Let's or is it bigger? We can find out. I think it's bigger, but not by much. Right. I think the red dragons typically tend to be bigger anyway. Right. So here, look at these wings. Oh look well. Look at the detail in that. Yeah, yeah. That's incredible. You got, you got, you see some holes in there, look. Claws are really good. Yeah, these claws are vicious. Some bone and knuckle structures on there, look. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Uh, let's start with the easy bits because we can get these out. Oh, there's the torso. Okay. Nice bit of detail in there. Oh, it's got a um, symbol on the on the cloth as well. That's good. Yeah. There you go. It's a little bit bent. And she does indeed have a fire eye. Yeah. I think I would be tempted just to put a little bit of gloss paint on that, just to capture the light and reflect it. It's a shame that's got bent. Yeah. Might have to try to straighten it out somehow. But that yeah. is awesome. Yeah. I mean, just look at the, even the colouring look. Yeah, I just I like the fact they've put that level of detail on the cloth as well. Again, it just goes back to you seeing a lot more um, detail in the pre-painted stuff now. Yeah. So this is Consaldi. Um, so you get a full figure, a full mini. And then if you want the saddle, that is a saddle, you see? There's a hips, a legs, there's a knees, a feet, and then yep. that would plug in into the dragon. Yep. The dragon goes straight out. I mean, look at that armor. Yeah, that looks really good. Look at these. I mean, these are just awesome. You know, I like the fact they've not gone for shiny silver. It's that gunmetal colour. It's matte. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's really nice. The bone on the skull. Yeah. That's that's metal ridge as well down the centre, isn't it? Yeah, she's got um. So on the central horn, uh, there is metal reinforced plating. So it's armor. Armor on the chest. Yeah. To protect the heart. Anyone seen Dragon Heart? Look, look. Gauntlets. Giant shoulder pads kind of things. Great pose. And it's flying as well. Yeah. So let's see if I can get these on. So how easy it is. These. Oh, that's gone straight in. That's good. Well, the back bit didn't go in, but the front bit did. I tend to, um, I tend to super glue the, these models together, and then just just be very careful when I transport them around. Yeah. Uh, I put them in bigger boxes, so they've got plenty of room. But I mean, wow. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good pose. It's Winter in the right place. It, it, it looks really good head on, actually. So the same size base, and I don't know if you can really see that. It is just that little bit bigger. Yeah, it's it's the wings actually that's that's bigger, isn't it? Yeah. That, that is, is good. That is good. So there you go. A little bit of a spoiler there for Steve. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the three dragons you have to fight. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just glad you ain't got the, uh, the the big black and purple one. Right. There you go. Okay, folks. Um, we've got one more to do. So we've got one more piece. Is everybody ready? Are you all strapped in and ready to go? I won't do any more little boxes. Because um, you've seen the kind of stuff that's in there. But I will be putting the photos up on Instagram. And I'll get photos of this gorgeous beast i'll get this up on our instagram page as well do follow us there please so if you want to see these out um they will be there this is going straight up over here that is yeah amazing see i, I used to like i used to like the gold one that you've got behind you but i think that red yeah. one edges it actually and it's smaller but a, a dragon wearing armor is just incredible Yes. Um, absolutely love it. So, we've got one more to do. Right. One more. Right. One more. We'll see you again in a minute. Don't go anywhere. Bye bye.